Hi everybody, Ken from Brooks Berdan. I'm so happy to be back. I hope you're watching the YouTube channel. And this is a sequel to our unboxing of the Rune, Rune Nucleus. So I'm holding the Rune Nucleus here in my hand. It's a very solid uh, piece of all aluminum. It is a passively cooled computer that runs on a proprietary version of Linux. Uh, the Rune software engineers have developed this proprietary version of Linux to be strictly dedicated to music. It's not checking your email. It's not updating your time zone after Pacific, after savings time. It's uh, not giving any video output. There is no screen. Um, if we look on the back, yes, this is a Nucleus Plus. The difference is that the standard Nucleus is an i3 Intel processor. This one has the i7 Intel processor. With the i7 Intel processor, we can do a lot more. And we can do room correction at the speakers. We can do parametric equalization. We can do upsampling all the way up to quad, oct, actually oct DSD, or 768 kilohertz on PCM. So incredible uh, upsampling. And if you already have a DAC or a CD player that upsamples, the difference is an i7 processor is able to upsample in software a whole lot more efficient, a whole lot more efficiently, and a whole lot better sounding. Uh, the way it can do it in the calculations with the proprietary Linux software is going to sound far superior to the hardware upsampling. So when we're looking at the back here. Here's the power button. Uh, there's the power connection. There's an HDMI port. This is not an HDMI port for video. This is only gives sound out, and you'd use this if you have a surround sound processor and you want to stream to it. This is the connection for network. This is not a wireless device. It uses a network connection. It needs that bandwidth. It has two USB outputs. You can use this. You can use these USB outputs to go directly to a DAC. Although in most uh, installations your sound is going to come back out from this network connection and travel to other devices on the network. So we can support multiple devices on the network. Whether you have a Sonos or other pieces of equipment, um, we can run, there's up to 60 different manufacturers that are all supported with, uh, or that all support the Rune system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this into the room, we're going to hook it back up, we're going to listen to it a little bit, and I'll show you what it looks like on the screen when we're controlling it. I'm back in the sound room. This is our main sound room at Brooks Verdan, and we're listening to Rune now. Just to give you a quick run through of the system, we're listening on the Magico S3 Mark II speakers. They're being powered by Jadis. This is the model JA120 tube power amp. And behind the camera is a Jadis JP80MC preamp. Our DAC is a Cord Dave DAC, and the Rune is plugged to that with a USB cable. So we can also send that Rune signal, as we talked about earlier. That Rune can go to multiple endpoints. We're going to switch to the screen view on the Rune, and I'm just going to run through a couple things very fast. Down in the right hand corner, it says Dave. That's the DAC I'm plugged into right now. Another item on the group is the Aries, the Aralic Aries. I could have five or ten of these things. Other devices like Sonos and Apple AirPlay devices. Over here on the right, there's my title. Let's get off over there. Uh, my title library. Uh, I can sort my library by my albums. Let's go back. We're going to go back down here, and I'm going to touch the volume, and I'm going to touch DSP, and we're going to touch sample rate conversion. You can see here that I have options to, to convert all the way up to DSD. I can do DSD 128. Uh, on the Dave, I was able to do DSD 256. Crossfeed, this is what I'm listening to headphones. It allows a certain amount of mix towards a center image. This is really helpful when we're listening to headphones. Um, I have different settings here. I can change that frequency. I can change the crossfeed level. Here's parametric equalization. Look at that. This would sound crazy. I'm not recommending this particular setting, but if you want something crazy, Rune can do it. Currently that's disabled on my 
machine. All right, uh, the Audis, all their headphones are here. And there's speaker setup where we can set distance or gain. Um, that's just a small portion of what this can do. It's really, really an amazing uh, program to work towards managing your music files. If you have some questions, you can email us. We'll put the email address in there. Please subscribe to our channel. Leave some comments below if you'd like to learn more. Um, I also want to thank Jamie for running the camera today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love everybody. These guys have been really liking our videos, and I so much appreciate it. Brooks Burdan, same place, 30 years, family-owned, hi-fi experts, two-channel aficionados. Come back. We'll be doing more of these.